Hey guys, how's it going here? Today it's Isaiah, and today I'm going to be talking about Kenyan Sambos. And today, to join me, sorry, I gotta reach down to get this guy. Is a black and white Kenyan Sambo. I really like these guys. We just got them in yesterday. Ooh. It's they're really cute. Like their faces, especially like look at that guy. Ooh, there we go. He's really curious. He likes the camera. Okay. So let's just set him right there for now. So the um, Black and White Kenyan Sambo was, uh, the, or any can Kenyan Sambo, the enclosure may vary to the size of the snake. So a basic enclosure would be a 10 gallon. But if you wanted to get more decor or uh, a second snake, I would recommend a 20 gallon. Um, next, heating and lighting. So for your heating and lighting, you're gonna need a heat lamp or heat pad, which uh, most people actually go with the heat pad, which, but some of my friends have went with a heat lamp because the heat lamps are just, um, it just makes you see the snake more, but the, the Kenyan Sambo is really do like the burrow, but they are a really good beginner snake. So the typical size for a Kenyan Sambo is two to three feet. The females normally get bigger than the males, which is three feet. The males get two feet. Um, the biggest mass you're going to need is a, a hopper or an adult, which uh, we feed live here. And then for the bedding, you're going to need English or reuse English walnut or sand, which it's kind of your preference. It just needs to be something loose like sand. You don't want to use pebbles or anything. You can use aspen bedding. You can use repti chip. Just they like to burrow a lot. Yeah. You're also going to need the, let's see here. Oh yeah, you're also gonna need your water dish, which um, the water dish is you just need kind of big one, like kind of like that size, just so they can soak in it. I think that's just about it for today's vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.